Hello, my name is Chloe. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm bringing to you reading vlog number 40. So I can't quite believe we've hit 40. This is nuts. How have we been going for 40 weeks? But we have. It is currently about half past five, maybe even a little bit later. I've had a very, very busy day and God, I need a top that fits me. What's happening here? So I've just settled down. I have a root beer and a bit of pizza and I've got a lot of studying I need to do tonight. Today was a very busy work day. I also had a teeny tiny health scare, like I'm completely fine. It's fine. But that's put me in a bit of a down mood today as you could probably expect so what i'm actually going to be doing i'm going to sit here and i'm going to finish ice planet barbarians which i started reading last night on my sprints and i had an amazing time with it it's so bad that it is just such a pleasure so i'm gonna sit eat my pizza and read that i was gonna finish it last night that was my plan but cole called me as soon as i said i was gonna do that and we had like an hour long FaceTime just talking about life. So obviously I would rather do that than read about alien sex, but we're gonna read the alien sex today. Also saying that I have some of my buddy read with Emily to read today. Uh, we're reading How to Stop Time, as you're probably aware. And we have about a hundred pages left of this, maybe just a teeny bit more. So gonna be reading this over the next couple of days. And the only, actually I have two books on the go, but the other physical book I have is Cruel Summer by Juno Dawson, which I read 88 pages of last night. And I'm hoping to maybe finish this by the end of the weekend. Like I'm not gonna push myself because I do have a lot of studying to do. And I also have the audiobook of The Girl from Widow Hills on the go. And that's what I've been listening to while I put my pizza in the oven and stuff like that. I didn't listen to it while I was working. As I said, I had a bit of a distracted day, so, I actually uh, listened to my podcast and music and just tried to chill out a little bit. So today as well has not been great because I had that issue with Royal Mail. You may have seen in the last vlog where they didn't come to pick up my parcel. So I rescheduled it till today and they haven't been again. So I'm really hoping they turn up at some point tonight, but like that's obviously not gonna happen. It's pretty much the last time they could come is within the next hour. So it's just not gonna happen. So yeah, I, I don't really like knowing that I need to complain about that tomorrow. It's put a bit downer on my day. But I will get those sweets and chocolates and crisps to Cole because I want to send them him. I'm fed up of trying to wait for Royal Mail. And I'm gonna try and make this a much more positive vlog. So I just ranted about Royal Mail for like 30 seconds and you don't need it. I've just edited and got the last week's vlog up and I know that I complained so much in that one. So I'm gonna complain much less I hope and yeah I need to eat my pizza and read my book and I'm really excited to read my book okay so I finished Ice Planet Barbarian or Barbarians I don't know and I think I'm gonna give it three stars that is a very enjoyable read and I'm now pretty upset that I need to start studying but it is what it is I guess that's reminded me I've got an episode of Love Island to catch up on so I'll do that first Good morning, it is Wednesday morning and I'm really sorry I didn't vlog yesterday. It just turned into quite a busy day. I worked from the office, which uh, was actually relatively enjoyable. There weren't many people in, but we did have a good laugh. There was some good banter, so it was well worth going in and getting to know some people a bit more. So I'll be going in tomorrow as well, which I'm weirdly like it was my choice and I'm kind of looking forward to it so yeah weird for me because I am enjoying working from home but I just wanted a little bit more like people around me just have a slightly more enjoyable day I guess oh do with that in a second um but I when I got home yesterday I jumped straight on to reading and productivity sprints with Rachel and the first thing I did was finish my current book which was How to Stop Time by Matt Haig which I've given two and a half stars. I really wasn't a massive fan of this. It was way more historical fiction than I imagined. So it's about Tom, who's been alive since Elizabethan England. So I obviously knew there was gonna be some historical elements, of course, but I was really happy every time I saw a chapter that was titled London Now, and then it would switch to Suffolk 1599, Los Angeles 1926. So it's like, yeah, cool. But I wanted to be more in his current time, 
I don't know, just wasn't what I was expecting and the twist wasn't really a twist at all. It was very easy to guess what was gonna happen. So a little bit disappointing, but not the worst book ever. And then I gave exactly the same rating to The Girl from Widow Hills by Mega Miranda. So I had that on audiobook and I was casually listening while uh, revising and it's just been my like, oh, I need to wash up, put an audiobook on kind of audiobook. And I gave that one two and a half stars. This is a thriller and it's about a girl who was found in the drains after she went missing for three days and nobody really knows why she was alive. So I found the twist, the easiest twist to guess I've, I've had in such a long time. Like I was hoping it was different because it was that easy to guess. Sadly, it wasn't, it, that was the twist. So really it could have been two stars, but I feel like it was a good storyline. Maybe I just listened to too much true crime and can think of it happening in real life, but yeah really wasn't too fussed about that one unfortunately so plans today i do have the patient by jasper do it i want to say it's called on my phone so i'm going to start listening to that while i work but yeah hopefully a pretty chill day and then i'm going to my parents for dinner so no studying tonight which is like every cloud and all that but yeah pretty dull week really so far don't know. Okay, exciting parcel time. First off, we have um, Hermes. I've, <laughs> it says my name and what it is, but we're gonna unbox it together. I like that addition. I'm assuming this person had a lot of books to drop off. God, they've, pack they've packaged it so well. There was no chance of this getting destroyed. But this was one that I snapped up on BookSwap within 33 seconds of it being listed. For some reason, my camera cut out. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, very, very popular new release that I don't actually think I'm gonna be able to get into. And it is Malibu Rising by Taylor Jenkins Reid. So I managed to get this on BookSwap for £3.85. It is gorgeous. Oh my God. I love it. And yeah, I have no immediate plan to read this, but I reread Evelyn Hugo last month and I read Daisy Jones and the Six at some point this year. So it needs to happen. I'm gonna love it. And £3.85. The other one I have here, uh, I said, I even said to the woman, I don't know what this is, but I now know what this is. And I am very excited. I wish it came a bit better packaged, I won't lie, but I was asked by a company whether I wanted to work with them, and I'm going to. So, well, it depends, these might be awful, I'm sure they're not. As far as I'm aware, I am now a global brand partner and I will be giving you the spiel at some point, I'm thinking in my next TBR video, but here we are. Ooh, oh, oh, it's opened. Oh dear, that's not what I wanted. I want the box. Okay. So these are from Zimph. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. What do we, oh, I don't know. I like these, but I'm not sure I like them with my hair up. I feel like I need, they're so clear that I need the hair border. Does that make sense? But these feel great. They fit quite well. Wow, look at me go. <laughs> um, and then I say that and I put my other glasses I've had through booktube on my face. But yeah, I'll be giving you the spiel about these at some point soon. And I believe I will be able to get everybody a discount if you're interested in some yourself. But yeah, that is that. Very exciting break from work. And now time to get back to that return day. Hello, it is still Wednesday. I've been waiting on my work computer to open a PDF for about five minutes now, so I thought I'd quickly update you. I finished The Patient, the patient by Jasper Dewitt, and yeah, it was a really short one. The actual audiobook was only four and a half hours long, and having it on like 1.5, 1.75 times speed, I got through it really quickly, and it needed more for me. I've given it three stars in the end, but it just, it was really lacking in terms of 
the actual story. I love the idea of how it was told. So this is told by a guy who works in a um, psychiatric hospital and he's kind of telling this really scary story through like some sort of Reddit thread or something, which I love. But the actual story was just a bit eh. So I give it three stars. This PDF still isn't open. Could do with an app. Hello, so unexpected surprise. I have two Amazon parcels and I've not ordered anything. I think one of these is from Nina, who is just lovely human. Um, but yeah, I, I genuinely don't know. I just had a call from the Amazon driver to say like, I'm struggling to find you, which, you know, appreciated. Um, but I didn't know I had anything. <gasps> Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Right, I'm not gonna read the note yet. But this is The Lucky List by Rachel Lippincott, which I wanted to read ever since reading Five Feet Apart. I still haven't read all this time, which is the other one. But this says, Emily's always been lucky. Well, technically her mum was the lucky one. And since she died, Emily started to feel like her luck's run out. So when Emily finds her, her mum's senior year bucket list, she finds 12 ways to feel close to her again. But if she wants to check everything off, she she'll need help. Help in the form of Blake. As Blake and Emily work through their list, the girl's bond deepens. Emily is starting to feel lucky again, but she's faced with the question, can she accept this new part of herself, the part her mom never even knew existed? And oh, look at the spine, oh, that's gorgeous. So this is from Kendra. Oh my God, thank you, Kendra. This says, I know you've been having an absolute crapper of a few weeks and wanted to send something to show how valued you are. And I'm pleased I met you through BookTube. You're an absolute angel, Kendra gonna cry that's so sweet thank you for that i really do appreciate that so this one must be nina it is okay so nina has sent me if i disappear by eliza jane brazier and she said should be fun hope you have a great time reading love your weekly vlogs vlogs and looking forward to the book club oh and the pink this is a really short one as well both of these are quite short so this says oh my god Sarah loves true crime podcasts. The mysteries become an unlikely comfort to her and then an obsession. So when Rachel, her favourite podcast host, disappears from a small town in Northern Carolina, Sarah decides it's time to act. She heads to the isolated ranch where Rachel went missing, determined to discover what's happened to her. But the more Sarah digs into this unfamiliar world, the more off things start to feel. Because Rachel is not the first woman to vanish from the ranch and she won't be the last. Oh my God. So thank you so much, guys. This has really made my day. And yeah, what a gorgeous set of books to get together. I'm so happy. Hello, so still Wednesday and I've just been out in these glasses and my mom just kept calling me Deirdre Barlow. So who knows how much I like them. But I had to pop out for bread and milk on my way back. So I got a two good to go bag from Spa. Cost me £3.9p and I've seen one thing in here I really don't want and one thing I really do want. So let's go through it together. The thing I don't want is this pack of 16 pork chipolatas. Like it smells too. Can I freeze them? Like there's, it's basically the sort that I wouldn't buy anyway that looks like it's come straight from a butcher's because I have a real issue with butcher's, it's just me personally. But yeah, not too impressed with that. I then have two apple crumbles. Nice, I mean, can't really eat two right now, but still very appreciated. I have a little fruit pot, nice. What are you? Oh, bread pudding. Oh, that's a big chunk as well. Okay, we're liking that. And the winner of the show, Dunkin' Donuts. Guys, Dunkin' Donuts. I didn't even know we had somewhere in my town that sells Dunkin'. Got some Dunkin'. So happy about that. So maybe I'll just bin the sausages. Like, I'll stick them in my freezer. They'll be fine. But that's the only thing I don't want. The rest is a winner. Like, winner. I actually can't quite believe this one. This is a steal. Hello, hello. It is Friday. Please excuse the mess behind me. I had not realised it was that bad. This isn't much better. Who knew my apartment was such a mess? <laughs> it's just untidy. It's not unclean. Is that better? maybe anyway um it's friday now i worked in the office again yesterday i had a pretty nice time actually it was a bit of a laugh then came home cleaned bruce's cage hoovered went to boogie bounce came home ate a donut watched walking dead went to bed 
So I've done pretty much next to no reading. I started listening to the audiobook of The Book Thief. I don't know why I've always pretended I've read The Book Thief when I haven't. And it was definitely a when I started booktube, I pretended that I had to like please certain people. And then now I'm like, okay, I actually do want to read The Book Thief. So yeah, just me being a bit a bit messed up. Don't know why. Um, you may have seen I've had quite a lot of support from people. I'm not going to talk about it openly in this vlog because I understand that this person can still watch my videos. I can't stop them from doing that. Um, but I tweeted about a situation I am in and I would just like to say thank you for all of the support from you guys over on Twitter about setting boundaries and things like that. It really has like kind of brightened my mood in a pretty crappy situation so just knowing that i have the support from you guys for doing what i need to do is so massive to me um but i really dropped on because i have a book and i believe this is from claire from books and ink i can't show you can i i can't really show you can you see there's a little sticker she's put little flower stickers all over it which is adorable and i'm going to try and keep this intact so that i can keep them in my journal so i just think they're so cute it's little added things like that on packages so i don't know what this is did i ask i didn't ask for it i remember her saying she had a book she could send me and i said i can't ask you to do that i think it is this book what is it it is Claire oh my god so she sent me 13 stories by Jonathan Sims it says the only way is up and this looks oh doesn't this look so creepy this looks so cool Claire oh accidentally got a bookmark too thanks <laughs> so this sounded amazing when she told me about it so I decided that I would like to read it. I put it on my like want to read and everything and it's now in my life because Claire is a joy. So it says a dinner party is held in the penthouse of a multi-million pound development. All the guests are strangers, even to their host, the billionaire owner of the building. None of them know why they were selected to receive his invitation. Whether privileged or deprived, they share only one thing in common. They've all experienced a shocking disturbance within the building's walls. By the end of the night, their host is dead and none of the guests will say what happened. His death has remained one of the biggest unsolved mysteries until now. But are you ready for their stories? Jonathan Sims's debut is a darkly twisted, genre-bending journey through one of the most innovative haunted houses you'll ever dare to enter. So, look, what does, oh, what's it look like naked? Oh, it's red. Oh, I like that. So I was considering making this a Chloe's Crime Scene corner book, but... There are some interesting developments with that and I may actually have like a provided book from a publisher for one of those months. So I don't want to push this too far back and I am considering trying to read it before the end of the year. It just sounds so interesting and I am so incredibly grateful to Claire for passing on a book just because she wanted to. So yeah, it's really made me smile this morning. About to sit down for a webinar and I am an actual child, I swear to God. I've never had one of these looks pretty awful but we're gonna give it a go hello it is saturday lunchtime um i'm studying all day today i'm gonna try and make myself um i have some mini pancakes that are definitely way past their best before and i have some bacon so we're doing bacon and pancakes and syrup for lunch is that okay is that normal i mean too much food but we're doing this i'm so happy can you tell I'm watching The Walking Dead while studying? The aim of the consolidated ca statement of cash flows is to show the cash flows of the group with escaping. Excuse me? Chloe's Chinese of the week. Are we ready? We have salt and pepper chips. Forgot I ordered those. Egg fried rice and a crispy chili beef. Still a lot of food, but not as much as I normally get. I mean, okay, it is a lot of food, but doesn't it look damn good? Hello, it is Sunday, it's half nine, and yeah, I feel like this vlog is gonna be a very short one, and I need to stop apologizing for that because you get really, really long vlogs, you get hours of me, and then sometimes you get 20 minutes of me, so who knows what this one's gonna be. I think it's gonna be closer to the 20 minute mark. Um, but yeah, I did quite a lot of studying yesterday. I made all the notes I needed to for my financial reporting module. Um, 
So now all I've got to do is go back through and look at numbered examples before I can start looking at questions. I'm feeling pretty good about that. And then I have my audit paper that I need to do some work on today. So that is a lot of watching online lectures. So I didn't have too bad of a time studying yesterday because I managed to catch up on Love Island and watch some of The Walking Dead while I was studying. Today I have to actually listen, so it's going to be a lot of um, actually watching the lectures again and sitting and making notes. I've got quite a lot to do, so yeah, I'm just going to try and do as much as possible. But if I get that done, that's it, I'm done. I'm not going to pick up more to do just because I managed to get through those. So I'm going to kick it off now and I'm going to give myself rewards after each section. So... Um, one thing I do want to do, which is going to take a few a few tries, I think, I'm going to have to split it into sections. But when I was looking at some books last night, I found some with gift notes that weren't stuck in. And I don't know why that bothers me. I don't want to lose the gift notes. So I'm going to go through my shelves and check that gift notes are stuck in. Is that normal behaviour? I think it is. So what session am I on now? Number 10. I'm going to do number 10. Then do the top three shelf, well, top row and two shelves. Do number 11 and do the bottom three shelves. Number 12, then clean my kitchen, which I know doesn't sound fun, but I'll put an audiobook on while I do it. And then number 14, and I will uh, put clean clothes away. Again, doesn't sound fun, but audiobook. And yeah, then I can get down to actually reading. I should say, if I haven't mentioned my audiobook on the go at the minute, is um, The Book Thief because I've never actually read that. I think I remember owning up to that fact. So yeah, cracking on with The Book Thief. I read a little bit more over the weekend, but I think I'm about 20% into it. What was the last update I put on Goodreads? Okay, well, that's wrong, because the last update I put was 16%. I think that was the first update I put on. So who knows how much I've read of that. And then when I can actually get reading, I'm gonna go for Cruel Summer by Juno Dawson. And I would love to finish this today. Yeah, I'm gonna finish this today. So that is, like I'm really excited for my sprints tonight because I can actually put the time put the time aside to do it. Okay, I'm gonna stop waffling on and I'm gonna start with my studying. Final chapter. Let's go. Hello, this is Sunday morning, Chloe. It's not. It's Monday morning, Chloe. <laughs> Coming in to wrap up the vlog, because obviously Sunday night Chloe has left us again. She performed well for a couple of weeks, but she's gone now. Um, and Monday morning Chloe needs to wrap up the vlog. So I did my sprints last night and they went really, really well. Um, had some lovely support from you guys, which I really appreciate. And a lot of Bruce content. So let me just edit in some Bruce content. There's no harm in it. Bruce is chilling there. The UK only has one time zone, so just the UK. So I'm in BST right now. Hammy, he's so cute. I knew someone with a hamster called Hammy. He is absolutely adorable. Are you just going to chill there? What do you want? I was wondering how you spotted him so quickly. Yeah. Bruce. He's just gorgeous, isn't he, guys? Um, loving it so much. It's worth the hype. Not finished, so could change. Oh, are we coming out? Are you coming back out to see your fans? Do you want to see the fans? No? Is it another treat? Is that what you want? What do you want? Oh, we're back out, guys. Oh, God, the lighting's gone really weird. Sorry, I didn't realise I was sat in darkness. Uh, little new pass new for me and oh my god I adore Jane the Virgin it is so yeah Bruce had a great night of attention it was love in life um and I managed to finish Cruel Summer by Juno Dawson so I was reading this on the live and then I had about 50 pages left after so I just sat and finished it and sadly I have to give this one two stars I did not love it I thought it was a really cool idea so it is about a group of friends who um the year before, one of their friends apparently committed suicide. So they go on holiday to a Spanish villa, they're all hanging out, and then somebody else dies, and somebody says that they must have killed the person. You know, it's a big murder mystery, but with teen drama. And it had a really, really good premise, but every single thing that happened in this book, you were like, oh, of course. Like, it was so predictable. Um, even down to like the big bad person, it was obvious who they were going to be for me pretty much since the start. So yeah, it was cute, but I gave it two stars because 
three stars for me is still a good book and in my opinion this wasn't that great so I have to give it two stars so yeah that's that done um but that's it that's this vlog sorry if it's been a bit short but I'm definitely going to make up for it next week where I have lots of fun plans so definitely stick around and watch the next one if you want more fun content um but yeah that is it thank you so much for watching as i always say it really makes my heart warm especially if you've got to this point of the vlog if you have got to this point of blah, of the blah, 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 blah. if you have got to this point of the vlog please leave me with any summer related emojis like some sunshine some rain for england because english summer i don't know a bikini that kind of thing leave me some summer emojis um and yeah i love you all so much Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.